David, how is this trial going for Bo Shilai? Certainly he has not been quiet. He's had a lot to say. Well, he has had a lot to say, Asya, and he has really but the expectations of this trial. Bo Lai was known as a maverick politician in his home base of Chongqing before being brought down by this extraordinary scandal that rocked the Communist Party, and he seems to be continuing in that vein. Just about all the charges brought up against him in the last three days, he's fought back, fought back hard, sometimes even personally cross-examining witnesses. Uh, today they've moved on to the embezzlement part of this trial. There are three indictments, uh, bribery, embezzlement, and abuse of power. Uh, many of us expected this trial to wrap up very quickly. China's famous for its show trials of well-known Communist Party personalities, but certainly they seem to be deliberating through the evidence relatively carefully and systematically uh, but we can only know through the social media feed of the court uh, that is just in front of me because we've been pushed out of that area uh, but it is uh, pretty interesting that they are at least l releasing anything uh, of this court in a system that's often tightly tightly controlled how are the chinese viewing this trial it seems they're fascinated by the whole proceeding <laughs> Well, a lot of it, I think, is a fascination of the high-flying lifestyle of Bo Xilai, his wife, Gu Kailai, and their son. You know, a lot of the interest in the social media feed from the court, which has got several hundred thousand followers in just a couple of days, has been of that lifestyle. I want to show you a headline from the South China Morning Post, an English, English language paper out of Hong Kong. The headline, Bo, my wife insane because Bo Xilai claims that Gu Kai Lai, his wife's testimony against him, is not valid and that she is mentally unstable. This kind of inner workings being released to the public is extremely unusual in China when the power elite live a sheltered life, uh, can get on with what they want without being afraid of any details being exposed because China controls the media on the mainland and because they're releasing uh, on some level we believe verbatim the proceedings that kind of soap opera feel of this trial is riveting uh, China and those who are following it online. And the first day of trial David we saw you outside the court and the authorities gave you a hard time I'm curious since then what is the mood outside the courthouse like and are you still having trouble sort of getting maneuvering around you and other foreign journalists? Well, we had some trouble the first day and the second day trying to set up our live positions. There is a sense that on the ground here, this is a sensitive situation. They chose Jinan some uh, thousand miles away from Bo Xilai's former power base in Chongqing uh, because it is far away, away from his supporters, any hardcore support that might remain for Bo Xilai. They've expanded the area where there's been a lockdown at one of the checkpoints behind me here. That's also because there's been sporadic protests, not directly about the trial of Bo Xilai, but more from ordinary Chinese petitioning their anger at their uh, own involvement with the justice system here. There is a more than 99% conviction rate in China of uh, potential criminals and so we believe that this is a done deal mm -hmm. most likely in terms of whether Bo will be convicted but maybe his spirited defense will uh, maybe uh, affect the ultimate sentencing. It certainly uh, brought a debate here in China about the relative strength of the state's case against him and also of him just being Bo Xilai as people remember him while he was in power.